I'll have my heart attack now. $57. Uh, this ain't gonna work too well. How the hell that happened? Well, without any damage to the car, which is amazing. That's crazy how much people don't use CDs anymore. All CDs. Use CDs for a dollar. I guess everybody's doing the MP3 thing nowadays. Those chairs sucked and comfortable whatsoever. First class in the elevator, son. Yeah, I'm at the mall drinking my Starbucks. Hey guys, am I the only one who goes to record stores anymore and buys legit CDs? I'd rather have a physical copy over an MP3. And it was crazy. At uh, FYE, you can get used CDs for a dollar. Which, I don't know if I'd buy a used CD because sometimes they're scratched up and don't work properly. But honestly, um, that's crazy. A dollar for a CD. So you could buy 20 CDs for 20 bucks. And honestly, I did pick up a CD, but honestly, I love getting the physical CD because sometimes you get a DVD behind the scenes. Uh, you get some, uh, like, cool, uh, maybe a book that talks about the artist. And with an MP3, you don't get the DVDs behind the scenes, uh, concert footage. You just don't. But, um, yeah, man, I highly recommend people still buying CDs. But, I mean, everybody goes MP3 anyway, but uh, that's my opinion, son. Car in front of me waiting to get off the freeway. And as the arrow turned green for us to go, some guy came through going north on Blandy. And he almost hit you? No, not me, but he could have caused an accident. The guy in front of me had to slow down a bit. That's Blandy. That's, uh... Because we've got the green arrow. Yeah, but that's how bad the drivers are in Jacksonville, though. You know it's kind of weird, just getting out of the out of the grocery store, and a lady that I was standing next to, because in the deli you can order sandwiches, right? This lady goes up there and says, "Can I get a teaspoon of lettuce and can I get one chopped little piece of tomato?" And the lady behind the counter was like, "Yeah, it's gonna be like two bucks." And she's like, two dollars for lettuce?" And I was like, "Yeah, you're, why you why do you care about that?" And uh, pretty much what happens is. She's buying this lettuce that she says, and this tomato, this little chopped tomato, to go to another, uh, to a restaurant where they sell, like, hot dogs, and put it on her hot dog, and the lady behind the counter was like, you know the restaurant probably has, uh, lettuce and tomatoes, and she's like, really? I never thought to ask. I just hear about this whole Wendy's situation, you know, the re restaurant Wendy's, they say they want to go from fast food to five-star restaurant, and basically how they're managing the, uh do this is they say they want to build a fireplace in the restaurant really and honestly guys i recently went into mcdonald's because uh i went with my uh pops and i was like damn i haven't been in mcdonald's in like six months those places are dirty that place looks like i don't know the mcdonald's by my house looks fucking ghetto and they're trying to make all these restaurants five star and they said wendy's claims bringing a fireplace is going to make it a five-star restaurant it's not going to make it a five-star restaurant to be honest i think the shit needs to be you need people you need to pay people more money and then it's going to make the environment better and you need to hire people that are going to clean that shit up because the mcdonald's i went to that place was dirty i was like damn i wouldn't even eat here did you guys hear about that lion attack that uh, basically killed this lady? She was cleaning the lion's cage and basically it came in and snapped the lady's neck and everybody's up in arms. Oh my god, the lion killed the lady. Why did it do it? It was raised by humans. You dumbasses. It is a wild animal. It doesn't matter if it was raised by humans or it's never shown sign of uh, aggressiveness. It's a wild animal. Duh. Don't mess with 3,000 pound cats. Those things will tear you the fuck up. I don't know if you can see me, but waking up at 6 in the morning and seeing three little tiny bugs walking on your, on, on your kitchen floor. Really nasty. I hate bugs. 
And what did I have to do? I had to go kill those some bitches. I hate bugs. It's ooh, it gives me the creep. <laughs> Just getting my sexy on here at the gym, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm not fat. I'm getting my sexy on. Hey, what's up, people? I wanted to show you this, which I I, I cherish a lot. Get out of the stupid light. It's a Marilyn Manson record in this uh, plastic case. It's two records. And I've never actually played it once, so maybe it might be uh, worth some money. You know what kind of sucks is? Um, I don't know if it was the, the files that were recorded on the iPod or if it was iMovie on the iPod that was uh, having a glitch because it would render about 50% and then crash. And then once it actually rendered fully... I went on the I went and deleted all the uh single actual clips, which maybe I shouldn't have actually had done that. But um that's why sometimes I'd really wish we were still recording on tape because on tape you don't really have any problem and on uh what do you, should you say um memory cards and iPods and cell phones it's digital and you can have uh files get corrupted. So um Guys, I talk a whole lot of shit, so remember that. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and um, guess what? I can't wait to go to Rockville 2013 coming up next month on the 27th of April. I'm going to try to vlog, try to bring some camera into the uh, e uh, e event, and um, I know a couple YouTubers that are going and a couple other friends are going, so um, look out for that. That's going to be a legit vlog. It's, it's 12 bands on the uh the first day of that concert so it's a two-day event 12 bands on the first day and then there's like uh eight bands the next day but i'm only going one one uh day so um hopefully i can vlog something for you guys and hopefully if the ndfx goes we can meet up and vlog together so i'll see you guys next time peace let me know about this whole windy situation you think it's um stupid as shit that they're trying to make it a five-star restaurant just by adding a fireplace really that ain't gonna make a restaurant five stars. You gotta make the quality of your food be uh, five stars. But I'll see you guys next time.